Tonight, community members and law enforcement leaders in San Francisco taking a stand against gun violence. KPX 5's Betty Yu explains they're saying enough is enough after the deadly shooting of two young men at a playground over the weekend. And so tonight I'm committing to do everything in my power to continue to use every legal tool at my disposal to hold accountable the manufacturers of guns, particularly ghost guns. Tonight, District Attorney Chase Boudin said he's committing to concrete action to end gun violence, including funding programs that serve victims and those that prevent violence. The press conference was held outside the United Players building in SOMA. It's a youth development organization. It needs to stop. Now, we have a role. The police department has a role. We have Captain Falvey out here. We have officers that are out here. But this is a community issue, that if we don't come together, we can't expect it to get any better. This evening, loved ones of two fatal shooting victims <laughs> gathered for a memorial at Alice Chalmers Playground in the Ingleside District. Two others were shot Sunday afternoon and are expected to survive. One of the victims was identified as Brandon Cheese. He was over there consoling a new friend of his who had lost his friend a year ago and he lost his life because somebody came through shooting. No arrests have been made in this case. Among tonight's speakers, parents who lost children to gun violence in San Francisco. They consoled one another and lit candles in remembrance. They closed by holding hands and singing. In San Francisco, Betty Yu, KPIX 5.